Good morning, students. Today we will start our lesson from political science, the first chapter, power sharing. From the word power sharing itself, you might have already got the idea what the lesson is about. Yes, obviously it is sharing of power, but what power and where is it applied? So these are the topics that we will study in this chapter. Now, what is power sharing? How will you define it? Power sharing is the sharing of power among the three organs of the government, that is, legislature, executive, and judiciary. It is very important to design the democracy. Power sharing is also distribution of power at distinct levels such as union, state, and local levels of government. Let us understand this from two examples, which is our first topic, Belgium and Sri Lanka. In this chart, we will understand the structure of Belgium. Under geographical position, Belgium is a small country in Europe. It is located in Western Europe. And it shares boundaries with France, Netherlands, Germany and Luxembourg. Netherlands in the north, Germany to the east, Luxembourg to the southeast and France to the southwest. Area of Belgium is smaller than the Indian state of Haryana and population little over 1 crore. Being a small country, it has large population, making it 22nd most densely populated country in the world and 6th most densely populated country in Europe. Now, this is the ethnic composition of Belgium. Ethnic means a social division based on shared culture or people belonging to a particular cultural group. Here, 59% of people speak Dutch, those who are staying in Flemish region. 40% speak French from the Wallonia region. And the remaining population of the Belgians, that is 1%, they speak German. Brussels is the capital of Belgium. And in Brussels, 80% of the population speaks French and 20% speak Dutch. Which language is in majority here? Dutch speaking people, right? But in capital, French speaking people are in majority. And you can see here that the neighboring countries has been influential in existing different ethnics in Belgium. During 1950s and 1960s, there was some conflict between the Dutch-speaking and French-speaking communities. It was because minority that is French-speaking community was rich and powerful and the majority Dutch-speaking community got the benefits of economic development and education much later and they felt that French-speaking community are dominant. Now let us take the situation of another country, Sri Lanka. It is an island nation just a few kilometers off the southern coast of Tamil Nadu. It has a population of about 2 crore people, almost same as Haryana, and it has a diverse population like other nations in the South Asia region. There are mainly two languages spoken here, Sinhala speakers that accounts 74% and Tamil speakers that accounts for 18%. Among Tamils, there are two subgroups, Tamil natives of the Sri Lanka whose forefathers were already from the Sri Lanka and they are called as Sri Lankan Tamils and Indian Tamils, their forefathers came from India as plantation workers during colonial period, that is during British rule. Now, religion in Sri Lanka, most of the Sinhala speaking people are Buddhist. Most of the Tamils are Hindus or Muslims and about 7% Christians who were both Tamil and Sinhala. From this given map, you can see that how different language speakers are distributed. This is the map for Belgium and this is the map for Sri Lanka. Here in Belgium, this red color, the red color is the French speaking and this is the Dutch speaking. This is the German speaking and this is the capital that is Brussels where 80% speak French and 20% speak Dutch. And in the map of Sri Lanka, 
you can see this big area this big area is covered by sinhali sinhala and this is for sri lankan tamils and this dark brown brown color is for the uh, indian tamils and these little dots are the muslims so here you can see that how unevenly it is distributed now imagine in a situation like this where the majority are powerful and can take advantage of their number and impose their will upon the minority in belgium dutch community could take over the french and german community this could worsen the conflict and lead to a very messy partition of the country and they would fight to claim control over brussels and in sri lanka a huge majority of sinhala community could impose its will and control on the entire country dominating the tamil speakers sharing power means dividing power so according to you division of power is it weakening the country or making it strong what do you think now let us look at what happened in both countries First, let's see the outcome of majoritarianism in Sri Lanka. Majoritarianism in short means the majority community that rules according to their will, disregarding the will of minority. Minority does not get equal treatment and opportunities. Here we will see how. Sri Lanka got independence in the year 1948. after which the leaders of sinhala community as they were in majority they formed the government and in 1956 an act was passed to recognize sinhala as the only official language thus disregarding tamil they also followed preferential policies that favored sinhala applicants for university positions and government jobs not only in language education and job but also in religion only buddhism was given importance than any other religion these kind of act and measures taken by the government gradually increased the feeling of alienation among the sri lankan tamils they felt completely left out and also they felt that the constitution and government policies denied them equal political rights discriminated against them in getting jobs and other opportunities and ignored their interest these as a result began to cause tension between sinhala and tamil communities the sri lankan tamils formed parties and started demanding for the recognition of tamil as an official language equal opportunities in education and jobs and regional autonomy but their demand was repeatedly denied by 1980 several political organizations were formed demanding a separate tamil state the distrust between the two communities that is sinhala and tamil communities grew to a extent that it turned into a civil war which resulted in loss of life of many thousands and thousands of people from both the communities have been killed many families were forced to leave the country earlier sri lanka had a good record of economic development education and health but due to civil war it caused a terrible setback to the social cultural and economic life of the country all of this ended in 2009 the civil war started in 1983 and ended in 2009 the war took 26 years not sharing power in sri lanka led to civil war Now let us see what happened in Belgium. So the next topic is accommodation in Belgium. In Belgium it was a completely different case. The leaders took a different path and the community difference of regional and cultural diversities were handled properly. Between 1970 and 1993 they amended their constitution four times. to make a proper arrangement so that everyone lives together in harmony within the same country the arrangement was very innovative and different from any other country following are some of the elements of the belgian model in the first element constitution prescribes dutch and french speaking leaders are equal in the central government no single community is allowed to make decisions unilaterally 
It means a single community cannot make decisions alone. The rule of majority over minority was removed and everyone was considered equal. In the second element, powers were also given to the state government of both the regions of the country. State government has an equal importance as the central government. It is not a subordinate to the central government. In the third element, Brussels has a separate government in which both the communities have equal representation. Here, the French-speaking people accepted equal representation in Brussels because the Dutch-speaking community has accepted equal representation in the central government. And in the fourth element, apart from the central and the state government, there is also a third kind of government called community government. Here, particular language speaking will vote and this government will take care of cultural, educational and language related issues. This system may be complicated even for people living in Belgium, but this system helps in avoiding civic strife between the two major communities and also save the country from dividing. In Europe, many countries came together to form the European Union. Brussels was chosen as its headquarters. So students, what do we learn from these two stories of Belgium and Sri Lanka? Both the countries being democracy, they adopted different arrangements. Belgium shared power with the state government. They could mutually agree and maintain peace in their country. Whereas in Sri Lanka, majority community refused to share power, which caused conflict and led to civil war, and hence caused losses of life and property and so many things, and also undermining the unity of the country. So children, this was the first part of the politics, and the next topic we will discuss in the next class. Thank you.